because you can't get tickets to see Tiffany? <laughs> it's not worth it, man, okay? She looks a lot better from a distance. Yeah, try to get seats in the balcony. At least ten rows back. <laughs> All right, then. Good luck. Call back if you have to. <laughs> Did I hear right? Yeah, the wrong number. Dude even gave me his credit card info. <laughs> I bet you that's him calling again. Tiffany's fan club. I think we're alone now. Hello? Hello, hotline. Can I help you? Give me one reason not to pull this trigger. Billy, this is Bobby, an old friend of the family's. Hi. It's great to meet friends of Matt. I go back to day one with this boy. Really? Do you live around here? Well, not anymore. Until now. So, what's up? I just wanted to pick up that thing. Thing? Oh, the thing. This is a nice place, isn't it? Oh, yeah, it's not bad, considering used to be full of spare parts and stray cats. Best thing is, Maddie has his privacy. I guess you know how his uncle can be. Oh, well, Carl's okay. <laughs> yeah, you're a regular prince, right? Hello? <laughs> guess you've never been up here, huh? No. I'd love to have a pad like this. No parents breathing down my neck. Oh, well, parents are okay. Right, Maddie? Don't ask me. Got a surprise for you. Billy, how'd you get this? It's top secret. You like it? I love it. Oh, thank you. Isn't that sweet? Well, okay, uh, we gotta go. You're coming to the party, right? I wouldn't miss it. Well, I got some really hot girls lined up for you. You've been busy, huh? Well, actually, I was just looking for one face that was half as gorgeous as yours. No luck. Uh-huh. I got a really hot band, too. Some Mad Dog? Yeah, I know the lead guitarist. He's good. Well, he's not you. But yes, he will. <laughs> Matt has this natural talent. <laughs> yeah. Well, uh, look, we got a book. I'll see you later, Matt. And uh, nice to meet you, Bobby. <laughs> <sighs> I, 
I am so glad that is over. She's a real beauty. From a nice family, I bet. I guess. He's a real knockout, too. They going steady? Yeah, he's taken, okay? All I meant was that you have nice friends, Maddie. Why don't you want him to know who I am? The way you come and go. What does it matter? I'm still your mother. It's easier if you don't exist. I'd rather have them think that. goes, this ain't bad. I'm only borrowing it, I swear. Oh, yeah, that's what they all say. Look, would you, would you do one thing for me? They all say that, too. Don't tell Matt. And then the next thing they all say is, trust me. Trust me. Okay. I must be crazy, but okay. Since you have such an honest face. Not much. Just looking for some company. Okay. And Sophia? Yeah, yeah. She took Annie with her to the fabric store. Time to start making her some maternity clothes. <laughs> About time. She can't wear my old shirts forever. <laughs> yeah. I hope they don't buy the store. They might. All right. Down to business. I need an answer from you. And I want the truth. What's up? I smell trouble. Am I right? What kind of trouble? Well, don't start that. You know what I mean. She's in a mess, isn't she? Look, she's not in a mess unless you jump in and make it into one. She's not bothering you, so, so don't bother her. But what is this? Now you think you're her father? Oh, you're concerned about Annie. You have, you have every right. I think she's fine. What the hell's the matter with you? Maternity clothes mean that any kid in that school can start making cracks at her. They're doing it already, aren't they? No. She gets a few, but she can deal with it. Really, Carl. It's truth. Well, I don't want her to drop out. I mean, she needs an education, not a baby. And as long as she's under my roof... What? I'm gonna watch out for her. Well, you know, you, you can't call all the shots. Yes, Carl. I can, and I will if it comes to that. Well, that's not what you promised Danny. Look! Just because I let her get her way and move back in here and go ahead with this crazy plan about keeping the baby doesn't mean I'm giving up. So you didn't mean any of that, what you said to I said I would try. We'd all try, just like I tried with you with, and your... With my mother, right? Yeah, you tried until you finally stepped in and took over. That's not what happened. Look, I, I'm through with it. I am through with this. If you want to talk to... Talk to Andy. Yeah, stop. Look, let's just drop it. We're all going out for pizza later. You want to come? The kids, you know, they missed your dinner last night. I've got a party. Okay, well, um, tomorrow for dinner. You know, if you don't have any other, uh, plans. I don't know. Later. Is that Mad Dog Mustard? Yeah. His greatest hit. That ought to get you up for the party. I could live without that party. Oh, come on. When your friends get here... They're Billy's friends. Parties are good for your health. All I ever do at parties is stand in the corner, scarf nachos, and try to figure out who's the stupidest. <laughs> There's a cure for that. Right. Leave. Dance. Oh, yeah. I'm a great dancer. Watch me now. Hey, work. Work. Oh, yeah. Am I Patrick Swayze or what? Chris, you're fine. You're just a little self-conscious. What you have to do is get psyched. 
that would require many illegal drugs. I can't go. Oh, just not in the party mood. You need to have some fun with your brother. I guess it beats killing him. <laughs> All right. You talk me into it. You'll have a great time. Just let go and enjoy it. Uh-uh. I enjoy Turner's paintings. I enjoy Mozart. I don't enjoy chores. Parties don't have to be chores. They don't for you. They don't for Billy. They do for me. Why? Because I'm weird. You're not weird. <gasps> you have hair going out of your knuckles. <laughs> yeah. Y yeah, I know, man. Look. You're in a bad way, man, all right? In pain. In, in a lot of pain, but you don't want to be dead. That's the end. You don't want that, man. <sighs> you, you don't understand. I do. I mean, no, I don't. Of course I can't, man. How could I'm not in your shoes? Get his name, and don't forget to use your code name. I'm DJ, man. What's your name? Brian, I want you to just forget about the gun, okay? It's crazy. Tell him to put the gun down. I want you to put the rifle down now, Brian, okay? Oh, no, no, I, I can't. I, I'm crazy, like you said. No, I, I didn't mean that, man. I didn't mean that. A crazy person wouldn't be down this number for help. Look, I'm going to give you to somebody who knows the score, okay? You won't listen. Nobody listens. Just staying on the line. Tell him. All right, I I'm listening, man. I'll stay on the line. Just calm down. Calm down. Calm down. But I, but I can't. So, so I need a bullet. I I'm not a coward. I can pull the string. And I will. No, Brian, please don't hang up, man. Please, all right? Please, listen, look. I don't know that much, all right? I'm not an expert. But there's a woman here who is, and if you hold on, I can get you the help. No! Selena, you gotta take this. He wants you. Keep him talking while I try and trace his call. I do not know what to say. He could end up blowing himself away. If you don't get back on that phone right now, he just might. It doesn't matter what you say. Yeah. Yeah, man, but I'm not like them, all right? I'm like you. You're not. Nobody is. Except... Well, except who? Your friends? Friends. Friends are a joke. You sound mad. I'm not mad. I just don't care. Jake was mad. All the time. He's this guy that I grew up with. His father hurt him a lot. We figured, we figured we'd both do it. Never mind, I don't care. Wait, 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 he, he was mad. What happened? He did it. I mean, he went first. Two months ago. No, no, Brian, you're right. Okay, what Jake did was give up, man. What you're doing is fighting. That's the hard stuff. That's where you need the guts. There's a lot that I don't know, Brian, but I do know that. You're one tough dude. Yeah, yeah that's a good one. So look at that, you can laugh. A minute ago, you couldn't. That's how quick things change. You think? So I'm telling you. You just gotta hang in until they do. Now, about your home. What's going on there? So what's the big mystery, anyway? What, how come you have Matt's guitar? Be patient. You'll see. Holy mackerel, what's going on here? Hey, Dad, it's 60s night. Or did you just think you were having a flashback? Well, I didn't know, son. I was only six at the time. <laughs> Peace, Melinda. Does this party seem okay to you? Yeah, I can't wait. I think everybody's really excited. Chris, too? 
Yeah, but he just hasn't seen all the special effects yet. But he'll love them. Well, I think you hit the jackpot, son. <clears throat> I think this far-out party is just what your brother needed. Just don't tell him we planned it for him, because he'll pull in like a turtle. Music! Light! Action! Party! Party? Bedtime? Sleep? Good night. Hey, come back here. You gotta learn the Watusi. Well, listen, I'd really love to, oh, but I just broke my leg. Really. Oh, better yet, I'll teach you about free love. Yo, Billy. I don't want to see this party turning wild now, you hear me? Dad, we're drinking fruit punch. Don't worry about it. So, um, where are you taking Pamela for dinner? Study. Here? You bet here. We're going to order Chinese and make sure there's no fireworks. But, Dad, I'm... No buts. I saw a risky business. <laughs> the place looks great, Billy. Melinda did most of it. <laughs> Melinda, is your uh, sister coming tonight? She might. I don't know. Well, you look sharp, Chris. That Stacy's quite a catch. Hey, that's a hint, son. Lots of brothers date sisters, you know what I mean? Look, uh, <laughs> Stacy's great, but I gotta tell you, there's these three dynamite cheerleaders who've just got the hots for Chris. And I invited them all. Fuck! Am I too much or what? You're too much. You hear that? Way, way, way too much. Where do you think everybody's going this time of night? Uncle Carl's taking him to get pizza. I'm gonna go for a walk. You're gonna stay right here. <laughs> Honey, I'm just gonna stretch my legs while the coast is clear. Yeah? Yeah. Matt, don't you trust me? You're not gonna go in the house? Why would I go in the house? Oh, that's a good idea. I could go in and do my laundry. Uh, honey, thank you. You know, you just can't get the stuff clean in the sink. But a godsend, I'll be in and out of there before they can eat a second slice. No, Mom. Why not? Sophie will never know. You shouldn't be in the house when nobody's there. Half an hour, why not? You think I'm going to pull something, don't you? Come on. Keep an eye on me. Came me to the dryer. I've got this party, you know that. Okay, fine. Go to your party, and I'll go do my laundry. This is a bad idea. Cleanliness is next to godliness. Mama used to say that. Well, did she ever say anything about uh, Uncle Carl coming home, finding his kitchen light off, and going for his gun? Hey, don't worry. When Carl orders pizza, he wants everything on it but the cook's sneakers. They won't be back till the laundry's folded and I'm fast asleep. Hope your party's a blast. Don't get caught. Say hi to Melinda for me. Oh, bummer. No wonder you freaked. Yeah, well, This was good. I'm glad. The thing is, uh, you listen to me. Look, I want you to call tomorrow, right? Brian? Look, uh, I, I don't have a gun. I, I know where I can get one, but this whole time, I don't have a gun. Oh, fantastic. I've been lying to you. Uh, no, no, you haven't. You don't have a gun, and that's great. <sighs> I don't know. Oh, they're home. I gotta go. I'll call you tomorrow, okay? Uh, after school around 6 o'clock. I'll be here. Did you trace the number? I don't think so. They were having trouble. So how does it feel to save a life? He's not saved yet. You did a great job, Daryl. Thanks. Only one problem. You're not scheduled to work tomorrow. I am now. The space is okay. Let's move the amps way out. Yeah, it's okay if everyone's got earplugs, otherwise they'll go deaf. 
so that's what we get paid for. <laughs> nice weapon. Yeah, the buddy mice. Big surprise very soon. I better go check on the aspirin and the earplugs. <laughs> what else should I get? Lost. Joke pops. <laughs> I won't be far. You remember that. And you, have a good time. Yes, boss. My little bro is going to have a good time if it kills him. Mm. Hang in. I'll keep my fingers crossed. Uh. Marco! <laughs> Yo, Chris! She's here! Hi! Hi, Lisa. These are great earrings. Yeah. You look even better than Chris said you would. Please stop. <laughs> I will, but uh, Chris won't. Chris? up, he's going to want to be just like himself, Alex Keaton. Michael J. Fox stars in Family Ties, next.